Hi friends, it's Sarah from ruffleshandbrainboots.com and today we're making the Half Bistro Apron two ways. If you'd like to make it, boop, stick around. As always, please give this video a like so I know you're here and sign up for the newsletter full of fun freebies. So I'm gonna show you two ways to make this in any style, any fabric like that, and then also using a pre-made apron. So they both have the cute little accents and ties, everything. You're going to need the pattern, which you can get below, iron, pins, and a sewing machine. So the first step is to cut the pattern pieces. We have a large piece, a pocket, and two straps. So for the pocket, which will be the bo both uh, styles will have the same pocket, you're just going to press over the seam and then you're going to cut out these little squares. See those? Don't need them. Hack them off. And then you're just going to press it all back down and pin it in place to set it aside. So I will show you, it doesn't matter which way you're doing it, both of them um, use the same pocket. So I'm going to be making what is essentially my own bias tape, but if you do have bias tape, ribbon, uh, rope, anything you can to use as straps, you can use it. What I'm gonna do is just iron to the center, which means you're just folding the entire piece over on itself lengthwise, and then you're gonna open it up and press each half piece into the center, right? So you're just making crease lines that are now half of your piece cut in half. <laughs> That's a lot of halves. But you can see what I'm doing here. You're just basically folding it straight, both sides straight into the center so that you can fold them over and do this. And this locks in all of the seams. So we'll have to do one end, a little bit of cleanup, and I'll show you that in just a second. But this is basically just making your own bias tape, right? Nice clean edges, so no matter what fabric you're using. So after you get that pressed, you're just going to press in the very end that will be part of the end of the tie. So we only really need to worry about one end of these. And then you're just gonna make sure to press that back in place. It's easy, right, so far? I don't like sewing clothing or anything like fancy, but craft sewing like this stuff is so simple. All right, so we're just getting this put in, put back in place, goodness gracious, so that the entire piece is, won't unravel or it won't have any loose threads. And I'm just gonna use um, clips, but if you have pins, you can use those as well. Just make sure it's down. So you can see my left side there is an open edge. I think I just dropped my clippy. Okay. This is how I, I roll in my craft room. <laughs> All right, so you're basically just going to repeat that for the second strap now. All right, so I'm gonna skip that part because it's literally the same exact thing. Now for the large pattern piece, you're definitely going to want to iron it, but we're just gonna be hemming this all the way around or getting it ready to hem. So after I've ironed it, I'm just going to turn it wrong side up and then I'm gonna flip up this edge. And the reason is, is because we're making the iron do all the work so that we don't have to go to the sewing machine and do any work. So I'm going to do the very bottom first and then I'm gonna do the top couple of inches on each side. And then I'm gonna snip. So this is optional. You can fold over the fabric so you'll never have to worry about threads or anything unraveling. Um, and you can also line the back of this if you would like. I am a lazy crafter. So this is my uh, attempt to add teaching you the lazy ways of crafting. So again, on the other side, I'm just going to fold over that top inch and a half or so, and you'll be able to tell because the pattern will, um, or the edge, I mean the seam will get really narrow. See it at the bottom there? So then we're just going to where that became narrow, we're going to snip, and you're not gonna snip the entire seam allowance. You're just gonna snip it over to where it folds over like this and then you're gonna press that as well. And I will show you before I sew how many pins I have in this thing on the end, pins or clips or whatever, okay? And then you're gonna do this at the bottom, same thing. Oops, just a little tiny snip, and then so you can just make everything lay flat. And like I said, you can crease over your fabric. No one's gonna see this part. And this is just a very quick and easy way to do this. Are there better ways? Uh-huh. Am I ever gonna use them in craft sewing? 
Mm, no, never. So <laughs> these are my cheats. <laughs> All right, so I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. Again, making my iron do the work. And for those of you, yes, I know it's, this is not a real iron. It's a Cricut mini press, but it works. It has so much uh, use in my craft room. All right, so we're going to fold over the top edge of our apron, but we're not gonna be done after one fold. So I do wanna show you um, how the bias tape is going to fit in here. So you're just going to press this over on both the ends. You can see that I'm tucking that edge in right there. So on the bias tape, first of all, you're gonna want the open side pointed down. Um, we're gonna stitch it, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we're gonna stitch it so you won't have any problems there. But what we're gonna do is I'm showing you, you're actually gonna double fold this over because if there's any place that's gonna fail, where's it gonna be? What gets the most use and that's the ties. All right, so next up, you can choose wherever you wanna put your pattern. I actually went just off of center and I lined it up at the bottom edge. Again, I will show you before I do anything. All right, so this is our strap that I'm sewing. If you're using ribbon or rope or pre-made bias tape, you don't have to do this part, but basically I'm just going to start and reverse my stitches at the end and then I'm gonna go really fast all the way down. So, and I do so quickly, but I sped this up. So you beginners, don't worry, go slow, go straight, and there you go. All right, you'll also use a coordinating thread and not white. I'm using white to show you what I'm doing. All right, so you're gonna do the second strap as well, all the way down. And now I'm gonna move my um, sewing machine out of the way. Sorry, this is a little bit fuzzy, but down at the bottom, you can see I lined up my pocket down there. Now I'm going to put my bias tape. So two things, number one, always have the stitches pointed down. And number two, make sure the edge you finished is on the outside of each side, okay? So we went a couple inches in here per the pattern, it's in there. And then you're going to do this on both sides. All right, and then I'm gonna show you everything before you start sewing. Look at all that fur all over my <laughs> All over my sleeve. See if you come to my craft room wearing black, that's what you're end up looking like. All right, you see over here, I'm kind of messing this with this. It's out of focus. The reason this took so long is because my cameras and my lighting. It was a long year. Anyway, so I'm going to pin it. This is what it looks like pinned. Okay, so you can see I have my two straps with the stitching on the bottom and the finished ends on the outside. Those are all clipped under the second fold over. I have my pocket down here at the bottom lined up. Again, personal choice, you don't have to do that. And I'm gonna show you how I sew it all up. So if you're using a child's apron, everything is done for you um, with regards to the apron front. You'll just add the straps and the pocket. Speaking of the child's apron, I went to Joann's. I got three of them, 12 by 19 inches. I then used a piece of the top after cutting the pattern out of the bottom just to make my pocket. I lined up my straps and I added them right here. Now for the pocket, I top stitched both sides and then the bottom after I sewed on a button. For the uh, cotton fabric, I made two straps just for decorative stitching. That's it, you're done. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Stay tuned for more apron styles. The Chef Known Pattern is coming. Thank you for being here. Please like and subscribe for more crafty fun.